Bible and uh, <laughs> Colossians chapter 1. If you need a Bible, just raise your hand and one of our amazing ushers will get a Bible to you. So, before we dig into the Word, let's just take a moment and as we've done so many times already tonight, let's go before the Lord in prayer. Because we need His wisdom, we need His guidance, and we need His understanding. If we're going to accurately and effectively understand what it is that He wants to communicate to us. So, let's go ahead and pray. Father, we do thank You. God, that You love us. That You have called us to be Your people. And God, we thank You that You have given us Your Word. That You've revealed Yourself to us. Not just who You are but what you want for our lives and how you want us to live and how you want us to grow and how you want us to interact with those around us. So God, I pray that as we dig into your word tonight, I pray that you would give us insight, understanding. God, give us clarity of vision so that we can live lives that are worthy of you. God, lives that are pleasing to you and effectively building up your kingdom. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. Now, I want to share a quick story with you guys. The other day, I purchased some highlighters. And as many of the staff know, um, or any of the people who have worked with me in kids' ministry or things like that, I can be very particular. I have my specific things that I like and my specific order and detail and all the rest, and I hear some of you chuckling because you know that experience. <laughs> and so when I went to purchase highlighters, it wasn't just, oh, which ones are there, which ones are available. No, I had to look through the list, see what was offered by the particular company that we ordered from. And the biggest thing I was looking for was a brand. I was looking for one particular brand. You ever do that? You ever go shopping for something? And there can be 5,000 different types of that thing out there. It doesn't matter what anyone else is offering. You are looking for that one particular brand. And for me, it's because I knew that brand. They've always performed well for me, and I expect that they're going to continue to perform well. So I go directly there. And as a company, you know, your brand is your identity. Your brand is your reputation. Good businesses are constantly concerned with quality control and with quality service. It's not just about the product you offer. It's about how you offer that product. And this quality check isn't just important when you find that something's going wrong. It's even more important when things are going right. Because even when things are going right, you, sh you still need to ensure that quality control and that quality of service. And this is the situation that we're going to see as we look at our passage tonight. An issue of branding and quality control. Previously in our study of Colossians, we looked at Paul's prayer of thanksgiving. Paul thanked God because the Colossians had heard the gospel of Jesus Christ, because they understood it, and because it was bearing fruit in their lives. The evidence of this was that they had placed their faith in Jesus Christ, and they had loved for one another. You see, things were going well. Things were going real well. And this is where we pick up in verse 9 of Colossians chapter 1. Paul writes, For this reason, since the day we heard about you, we have not stopped praying for you and asking God to fill you with the knowledge of his will through all spiritual wisdom and understanding. And we pray this in order that you may live a life worthy of the Lord and may please Him in every way, bearing fruit in every good work, growing in the knowledge of God, being strengthened with all power according to His glorious might, so that you may have great endurance and patience, and joyfully giving thanks to the Father who has qualified you to share in the inheritance of the saints in the kingdom of light. For He has rescued us from the dominion of darkness, and brought us into the kingdom of the Son he loves, in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sin. Paul 
is consistently framed for the believers in Colossae. This church had seen success, true, legitimate success. Not just a, oh, something sprouted up and it looked good, but now, man, these guys are going crazy. No, they have seen legitimate success. They're living lives of faith and love. And Paul here is praying for their continued growth. Paul prays that God will fill the Colossians with the knowledge of his will. He desires for them to have a full knowledge of how God wants them to live. This knowledge of how God wants us to live, it only comes through spiritual wisdom and discernment. It's insight that only God's Spirit can give to us. See, there there are two types of wisdom. One is worldly wisdom. And then there's spiritual wisdom. And the two are totally different. You see, worldly wisdom often revolves 